أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم آية نمبر 31 وعلم آدم الأسماء كلها إن الله سبحانه وتعالى give the knowledge علم taught آدم الأسماء كلها the names كلها all of them ثُمَّ دِنْ عَرَضْوَهُمْ He presented those things على الملائكة to the angels فقال الله سبحانه وتعالى said أَنْبِئُونِي inform me بِأَسْمَاءِ and the names هَأُولَاءِ of these things إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ if you are true So as we mentioned yesterday that when the angels say أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءِ Are you making in this earth somebody who will do fasad and who will shed the blood? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him the answer. One answer was brief. إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ I know what you don't know. That was a brief answer. Like a hakim. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving him another answer as a hakim. Okay, so Hakim means ruler and Hakim means a wise. Okay, wisdom, full of wisdom person. So that second answer is a demonstration of the superiority of Adam alayhi salam or the angels. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have made a demonstration of power. Like for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, can you lift this heavy object? Angels and the angel could not, and Adam so this was, and Adam could have lifted it. So that was the demonstration of power. Our muzahara, our demonstration of beauty. That look, Adam Allah make him more handsome, and I told the angel that you look in the mirror, you look beautiful, or Adam look beautiful. Or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have given more wealth to Adam That look to the angel, you don't have that much money, and Adam has. But the criteria that Allah used for superiority is what? Ilm. Right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say that وَأُولُوا الْعِلْمِ قَاءَ شَهِدَ اللَّهُ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا هُوَ Allah give witness there is none worthy of worship except Him. And who else give this worship, this witness? وَأُولُوا الْمَلَائِكَ And the angel also give the witness that only Allah deserve to be worshipped. وَأُولُوا الْعِلْمِ قَائِمًا بِالْقِسْمِ And the people of ilm also give this witness that Allah, that they are they are firm and unjust. So this is the superiority of the knowledge. Now what is the lesson for us? That knowledge is good. So you, you, we all cannot become scholar at the age of 40, 50, 60. But scholar is not necessarily the one who know all the uloom of the, of the deen from A to Z. Anything like this ayah, number 31 of Surah Al-Baqarah, so you become alim of it. And if you suppose you are not knowing it before, so before you were ignorant from this. So any little thing of deen that come in your way, you become like a tajassus a zeal and shock for ilm and keep on accumulating and bringing in your uh, yourself as much knowledge of deen as possible. Because ilm is light and ignorance is what? Darkness. Okay, ilm is what? It is light, right? So the superiority criteria that Allah utilized is what? Ilm. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Adam alayhi salam al-asma'a, the names. Kullaha al afdim. So kullaha, the zameer is toward the asma'a, that al afdim. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought the word kullaha? Because the angels also knew some names. The angels knew that this is Arsh of Allah, this is Malak, another angel, this is the sky, those higher, higher things the angels know, but knew. But the lower one, the, what, the earthly thing, the angels didn't know the, the names of it. So that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Kullaha. Now the ulama say that these names, they were the names of that time. 
whatever things were created so far. Like for example, computer. Computer is crea- it came in, in existence later and now. So it, it, it's not like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also taught Adam alayhi salam did his computer. What, whatever mawjudat, existing things were there in the universe at that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the knowledge to Adam alayhi salam. This is one opinion. The other opinion is that all the things which will come until the day of judgment, Allah gives the knowledge to Adam alayhi salam. And a third opinion is that asma here mean only asma ul husna. Okay, asma ul husna mean, which means the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ar-Rahman, ar-Rahim. These are three opinions. And the most correct opinion is what? The things which were present at that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the knowledge to Adam alayhi salam. So when you say name, one is, one is ism and one is musamma. Like for example, look, I tell you this is a cape. Okay, so cape is the name. So if, you, if this is not in front of you, so you will say, okay, cape, 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 but where is the musamma? So, so uh, cape is ism and this is musamma. Okay, apple is, is the name and when I have apple, this is musamma. Okay, so the object that you give the name to it, that is called musamma, ism and musamma. So in Arabic, the word ism also has room for musammayat. That it was not just the name, but the quality, the character, the khawas of the things were also taught to Adam alayhi salam. That this is apple, so this is sweet. Okay, and this is for food. Okay, this is stable, so this is, the, this is hard, and it is for to utilize the thing to put on, right? So everything, what was the character of those things that also come in the name of Asma. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the knowledge of all the names to Adam alayhi salam and give, make him مُعَلِّمُ malakut. This is such a big honor. That on the day of judgment, the hadith in Bukhari, the Prophet ﷺ said, يُجْمَعُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ All the believers will be gathered on the day of judgment. فَيَقُولُونَ لَوِسْتَشْفَعْنَا إِلَىٰ رَبِّنَا فَيُرِيحُنَا مِنْ مَكَانِنَا هَذَا Can we find a person who can intercede and do shafa'a to Allah, that Allah can start the accountability and relieve us from this trouble that we are now. Who can go in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, oh, let's begin the hisab. So what they will say? فَيَأْتُونَ Adam. They will come to Adam alayhi salam. فَيَقُولُونَ لَهُ أَنْتَ آدَمُ And they will say, you are Adam, Abu al-Bashari, the father of all the human race. خَلَقَكَ اللَّهُ بِيَدِهِ Allah created you with his own hands. Not through the angels, but this is what of the... The honor of Adam is that Allah created him by his own hands of Qudrat. Allah knows how. Without the utilization of the angels in the middle. And similarly, the ulama say, when Allah was creating any other makhluk, so Allah didn't make a'lan before, that inni khaliqul sama, inni khaliqul ard, inni, but Adam alayhi salam before, with great shan and with great status, Allah say, inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa. So look at these two characters. One is that, biyadihi with his own hand, qudrat. And the second is, Allah make an a'lan, an announcement before creating him. بِيَدِهِ وَأَسْجَدَ لَكَ الْمَلَائِكَةَ Allah made the angel do sajda to you. وَعَلَّمَكَ أَسْمَاءَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ And Allah taught you the names of everything. فَشْفَعْ لَنَا إِلَىٰ رَبِّنَا حَتَّى يُرِيحَنَا You do intercession shafa'a to our Lord so that He can relieve us from this suffering. Right? So وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا Allah taught Adam alayhi salam, the names and the characters of all the things. Summa then aradwahum, he presented. Arz means presentation, presenting. Alal malaikati upon the angels. Okay, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala presented either the pictures or the objects of those things to, to the angels. Faqala, he said, Ambiuni, inform me, bi asma'i and the names. هَأُولَاءِ of these things in if كُنْتُمْ you are صَادِقِينَ true so 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought the, those objects in front of the angels are their pictures. Haulai, as I told you before, that anything which is plural and it is close to you, these. So haulai. And if they are away, they are ulaika. So haulai means these things. In Kuntam Swadikin, if you are true in your claim that for the Khilafat of the earth, you, can, you also qualify. Okay, so in Kuntum Swadikin mean, if you are true in your dead da'wah, in your dead claim, that I don't need to create Adam or mankind, angels are enough for that. Okay, in Kuntum Swadikin. So, now another point here, which is very important. The ulama say that if I ask Allah, I, I take Ali to one side, and I teach him this ayah, and then I bring Ali here, and I ask Allah of you, Ali is better because he knows this ayah. Then you will say what? You will say you just taught him there to the side. If you would have taught us also, we would have known it too. So the ulama say this ta'aleem, this ilm to Adam alayhi salam, although Allah say wa'allama Adama, but it was given in front of the angels also. Okay, so Allah say allama Adama, but it never means there is no ayah, there is no hadith which say that this knowledge was only given to Adam alayhi salam, right? Otherwise, there was no reason that why will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blame the angel that you don't know and he know, right? But Allah, Adam alayhi salam had that reception power, okay, that it was in the gene of Adam alayhi salam that he could grab and he could capture the, the information. But angels, they have tunnel vision. They only know those things that what is that what they are appointed on. If there's an angel of rain, he they also they only know rain, cloud, wind, that's it. Okay? Snow, hail. But they don't know earthquake. Okay, so this is how the knowledge of the angel is. So Kalu the angel says, Subhanaka, purity to you. As I told you yesterday, that three words you tasbih, tahmid, and taqdis. Tasbih, tasbih means when you say purify. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he don't sleep, he don't drowsy, he poor, don't poor, don't, he do not get sick, he don't die. This is what? It's purity, which is what? Tasbih. Tahmid is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is powerful, okay? He is generous, he is merciful, so this is what? Tahmid. And what is taqdis? Taqdis is not an action, it is something related to your aqidah. That you believe in the purity of Allah that becomes taqdis. So normally, if I tell you, do tasbih. So what will you do? That's action. You will say, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. That tasbih. Hazim, right? Okay, so that is what tasbih. But if you, if I tell you do taqdis, so there is no action you can do. The taqdis means that you should have faith of the purity of Allah in your heart. This is taqdis. La ilma lana, there is no knowledge for us. Illa except ma allamtana, what you have taught us, what knowledge you have given to us. Innaka indeed anta you al-alim is the most knowledgeable, al-hakim, the most wise. Alim means full of knowledge and hakim means full of wisdom. So the angels say that uh, purity to you, okay, tasbih to you. We don't have knowledge except the one that you have given to us. So what that mean? That Allah did give the name of the asma to them, but it means that you have given us the quality and the capacity to keep that also, okay? Illa ma allamtana. Then the next ayah is ayah number 33. Qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Ya Adam, O Adam, ambi'hum, inform them, bi asma'ihim, and the name of those things. So Allah is there, angels are there, and Adam alayhi salam is there. Right? So when Allah was asking the angel, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? The Allah didn't ask the angel, ambi'hu, till Adam. What Allah, what Allah say? Ambiuni, inform me. Okay? And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was asking Adam alayhi salam, he didn't say, Ambiuni, inform me. He said, inform them. So the difference between, what is the point? That Ambiuni and Ambihum, that Allah said, tell them, teach them. What? That you are the teacher. So to make, to confirm the status of the teachership, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Ambihum. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was asking, the, the, the angel, so he didn't say that uh, ambi'ho. He said what? Ambi'uni, inform me. Otherwise, if the angel supposed they knew they would have taught something to Adam, the angel would have become the teacher. 
right? So what he say? Ambiuni inform me. And when it come to Adam and Islam, ambiuhum. Falamma ambaahum. So when he informed them be asmaihim and their names, Kala Allah say, Alam akul lakum. Did I not tell you, O angels? Inni a'lamu. I have the knowledge. غيب السماوات the unseen of the sky والأرض and the earth وأعلم and I know ما تبدون what you reveal what you disclose وما كنتم تكتمون and what you are hiding right one more time قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في يا آدم أو آدم أم بهم بأسمائهم inform them give them the news of the names of these things فَلَمَّا أَمْبَأَهُمْ So when Adam a.s. gave the news, gave the knowledge بِأَسْمَائِهِمْ of the names to the angels, قَالَ أَلَّا سَيْ أَلَمْ أَقُلْ لَكُمْ Did I not tell you? إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ I have the most knowledge of what? غَيْبَ السَّمَوَاتِ The unseen of the sky, وَالْأَرْضِ and the earth وَأَعْلَمُ And I know مَا تُبْدُونَ What you disclose وَمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْتُمُونَ And what you are hiding, right? Okay, وَآخِرْ دَعْوَانَا عَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ